What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about Nintendo. Nintendo is really big in the news right now. I think that the world kind of feels it. The ground rumbling under us. We know something's about to happen and the NX is going to be revealed. Here we are October. Cannot believe it. All the way in October. We still haven't seen the Nintendo NX. Uh, I'm really mind blown at this fact. I thought that we would have definitely saw it last month at the latest. We still haven't seen it. So in my mind, in the next few days, next few weeks for sure, Nintendo has to come out and show us that Nintendo NX. It's like that moment you feel it, especially people who are really big in the gaming culture. You know that something has to happen right about now. We gotta see this thing if Nintendo plans on having a successful launch in March. If they plan on having a successful launch, they've gotta show us what this thing is and what it can do. And so, I'm excited about that. Uh, and, and the thing is, right, other people, I know lots of you guys are probably super excited about what the Nintendo NX is as well. And I know Sony and Microsoft are very confident. They got to be confident in their future foray with the PlayStation 4 Pro, with the Xbox Scorpio next year. Everybody's really talking about 2017 with the Scorpio, how powerful this thing's going to be. The six teraflop monster, right? It's exciting. But I tell you this, Microsoft and Sony better not count Nintendo out. They better not do it. Because if history is any indication, Nintendo could just as easily come back and win this 8th generation. They could easily do it. Uh, and I know you guys are like, what the hell are you talking about? There's no way, Beastly. There's definitely a way that Nintendo could come back and beat Sony and Microsoft at their own game if Nintendo just does Nintendo the right way. Now, this has already happened. This happened in the past. This happened with the Wii. All right, Sony and Microsoft had no clue that Nintendo was going to come out after the dismal selling GameCube and, and come out with the Wii that really literally changed the game. No one had ever used motion controls before. No one had ever been that immersed in a gaming experience until we played the Wii. Now, the Wii's graphics sucked. Yes, they did. They were, they were horrible, if you ask me. Even for their time, I didn't like them. But when you pick up that controller and that nunchuck and you're playing a game and you felt like you were actually playing the game, it did something to you. You had to go out and buy one of these Wiis. And of course, the Wii ended up being one of the best-selling consoles of all time. Only beat by the original PlayStation, the Game Boy, the Nintendo DS, and the PS2. Those are the only consoles to beat the Nintendo Wii, which uh, hovered at around 100 million consoles sold. So the thing sold fucking unbelievably well. The same thing could happen again. It really, really could if Nintendo comes out and changes the game once again. Nintendo is the only game company that comes out and innovates with their consoles. PlayStation doesn't do it. Xbox doesn't do it. Xbox and PlayStation come out with good games, but very seldom do they come out with new technology that changes the way that we play games. PlayStation VR is probably the farthest Sony's ever gone as far as changing the way that we play games. Nintendo's been on the VR tip for a long time. They kind of started it with the Wii. Motion controls are virtual reality. It's reality, but it's virtual reality at the same time. So Nintendo kind of changes the game every time they come out. They came out with the first analog stick for the, for the uh, Nintendo 64. They came out with the first rumble pack. You know, the first controller that ever rumbled. They came out with motion controls, the very first motion controls. They always innovate. So if Nintendo sticks with Nintendo's guns, they could actually do the same thing again with the Nintendo NX. But it's kind of a funny conversation that was had recently between former Sony CEO Jack Tretton, who actually uh, revealed or unveiled the PlayStation 4 when talking about the Wii way back in 2006. And I wanted to talk about his thoughts on it and talk about what the future could possibly be. I'll drop a link in the description. Former Sony Computer Entertainment America boss praises Nintendo. Didn't anticipate the Wii being so successful. It's easy to forget that Nintendo wasn't in the best position following the GameCube. It wasn't one of the company's better performing systems, so all eyes were on Nintendo to see what they'd come up with next. Nintendo promised a revolution with the Wii, and that's arguably what we got. That turned out to be its best-selling console, and one of the best-selling platforms as a whole. With the initial hysteria surrounding Wii, it was incredibly tough to find it for a long time. Nintendo was also successful with its mission of connecting with casual gamers. In retrospect, not many could have anticipated the Wii's success. Former Sony Computer Entertainment America President and CEO Jack Tretton certainly didn't. When asked by IGN if anyone else at Sony saw the Wii U coming, Jack Tretton responded, quote, 
I think this industry wouldn't be where it is today if it wasn't for Nintendo. So everybody respects the fact that they had such a hand in building this great industry that we've all been able to work in. But from generation to generation, you never know what you would get from Nintendo. You just knew that you couldn't count them out. And I think everyone discounted the Wii initially, and it really took the world by storm. I'd say there are a lot more people in the surprise camp than there were in the I told you so camp. Maybe a few people at Nintendo, but the vast majority were skeptical when that came out." End quote. Uh, so basically, you cannot count Nintendo out. I know a lot of people think that this, you know, the, the generation's moving forward, the future of gaming is PlayStation and Xbox and PC. Nintendo could actually reach out there, turn this whole ship around, and bring people back to whatever their vision of the NX is. If the NX is what I think it's going to be, is going to definitely be a contender in the 8th generation. It's going to be a huge success when people see what it's capable of. If you can take this thing in your car and play your games and you come home and just dock it and you're playing on your TV and it's great console quality gaming, that's going to blow people's minds. If you can you know, go on the go and you take a controller off the side you give it to a friend and you're both playing together on the go, please, that's a wrap. I'm telling you that now. That thing, I'm, I'm going to look like a kid in high school. It's going to be my backpack everywhere I go. I might crush it driving to work. I'm, I'm telling you now, man, this thing is going to be a huge success if Nintendo plays their cards right. And for the guys out there who think that it's over, you know, that the Scorpio and the PlayStation Pro are going to just wipe the ground with Nintendo, you better check your history books. Nintendo has a way of coming back and fucking shit up. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Is it possible that the NX could come out and grab some of that, that mind share from Sony and Microsoft? Do you guys think it's possible or do you think that the Scorpio 6 teraflops or the PlayStation 4 Pro's 4.2 teraflops are too much power for Nintendo's little console hybrid? Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.